Welcome to the EA Afternoon Minute. It is Wednesday, meaning it is time for your midweek news roundup. Let's get to it. First off, politics. Yesterday, Malusi Kikaba, Minister of Home Affairs, handed in his resignation and President Sir Ramaphosa accepted. Mr. Gigabyte said his resignation should not be considered an admission of guilt and that he'd also be challenging the allegations brought forward by public protector. The president has asked Minister of Transport Bladen Zimande to fill the seat of Home Affairs Minister until a, until a permanent instalment is made. 70 world leaders congregated in Paris with the president of France, Emmanuel Macron, for the Paris Peace Forum. This was also in commemoration of the centenary of World War I. I don't know if this counts as politics, but Prince Charles turns 70 today. Happy birthday to you, your majesty. Apparently, we'll be having a tea party to celebrate. What? A tea party? Mm -hmm. A.B. de Villiers showed off yesterday in the Mzansi Premier League um, match, warm-up match between his team, the Tuane Spartans, and the Jersey Stars. It was his first time back on the field since he broke hearts by announcing his retirement from international cricket. A.B. is like that ex, you know that ex that just keeps on flourishing after you guys break up on some, I don't need you. After their 20 overs, the Spartans were on 217 with 9 out. Now the Jersey Stars, they weren't bad, they really weren't. But the real star was A.B. de Villiers. He hit 93 from 31 balls. Now the first official match will be on Friday between the Spartans and the Cape Town Blitz at Newlands. And in the FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup, South Africa's Bandwana drew in a goalless match against Mexico yesterday. Mexico almost scored within the first three minutes when the ball slipped through the hands of goalie Katie Van Vogel, but she managed to save it. Uh, she later sustained a knee injury though. We wish you girls all the best in this tournament. For more sports news, be sure to check out Sports with Moses every Thursday. So, tomorrow then. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again on Friday when we step into the weekend fully informed. Spread the word.